Okay, it's good to see this finally. What happened was for several uh, months, Mario, the maker, uh, along with the LC of HDSDR software, was using our remote server link here onto my desktop so that he could use the SDR1 receiver as though he were here. Guru, who is the inventor and maker, um, along with Dave Higdon, of the uh, SDR1 receiver here, um, Henchman Labs and Electronics is fun. They went ahead and they've updated the firmware along with uh, Mario and LC all together. And they got it working uh, actually with HDSDR now instead of just its regular program, the SDR1 software. Uh, the SDR1 uh, receiver now can actually use HDSDR, so we can use waterfalls now. And you can see, I want to go ahead and I'll close the program down again. Okay, when I close down the program, this should bump back out to its original state here eventually. Go ahead and start it up. Alright, there we go. Alright, there you go. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'll bring up the HDSDR1 program now. And I'll go to my favorite uh, station, which in the early morning is Radio Australia. Should be at 9580. And I don't want it to be exactly on the 80 because it'll be right on the line. So, we'll go ahead and just start this up. Go ahead and get it up. I think I have to have my antenna up, right? Yep. There we go. Got to put my antenna on the right one because I actually have, um, oh, I haven't used this guy in a long time, but the ensemble too, the soft rock. Got that back there. Anyway, you can hear Radio Australia comes in pretty darn good. I'll put it in the exalted carrier. Exalted carrier. Now you can hear 3D Australia. Right now there's a game going on though. That's what she sounds like. Now you can see what Mario and everybody's doing on here. Guru, Mario, LC, Dave. They've all made that. It actually showing that it's receiving. It's showing that uh, it hurts. It shows what mode it's in. ECSS and the attenuation is not on. It says no. No. I'm going to go ahead and I'll pause this. The deal uh, with the attenuation is it could he couldn't put um, yes or no. He had to make it no or on because there wasn't enough room. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll kick it on. So there you go. Now the attenuation is on. Attenuation on. I'm going to go ahead and change the modes. I'm going to put it in AM. You'll see it changes to AM now. Resulted carrier. FM. LSB. USB. CW. And DRM. So we could go to one of the sidebands, LSB or USB, and it'll sound good. So that's a secret that a lot of people don't know. You can actually change it and put it into USB or LSB. If you can't hear it well. Go back to AM. There we go. So let me go ahead and try to find something else here. You can see the wonderful waterfalls that are going on now. Let's take a 205, right? There we go. Getting some shortwave in. Let's see here. I'm going to try to get, um... I want to try to get the time clock, WWV, here real quick. I can't say how strong it's going to be right now, but you never know. Okay, probably down to five. I'm going to move it off of that just a little bit. Here we go. Put it in LSB. Or USB. No matter. You can throw on some noise reduction if you want. Noise blanker. Alright, I'll just 
just do it until he actually says or talks or does something. As you can see what mode we're in. Frequency. It's not super great right now. Go over here. I doubt there's any radio amateurs on. Right now it is 5.45 in the morning, you can see. That's pretty darn early in the morning, so I really doubt anybody's going to be on doing anything. But I'll put it in LSB mode anyway. Might get 14 now, but I doubt it because it's usually better during the day, not in the middle of the night like right now. I don't know who would actually be on. You got a better chance probably going up to 80 megahertz. figured 80 megahertz because this is that time of the day when the lower the frequency the better the signal is going to be. Well, let's see we got guys everywhere up here. Throw on some noise blankets. As you can see, uh, now the SDR1 here works perfectly with HD SDR, thanks to the work of all those men and what they've done. This is great. We can actually use it now. Waterfalls. Now there might be somebody up here, but I doubt it. But we'll check it anyway, right? All kinds of things floating around out there, but yeah, we gotta go down to 80 meters right now. It's the only one that's really going. Now, let's see how it does for CW. I think it does pretty well for CW. I'm gonna put it in CW mode. Let's go search for some CW somewhere. to throw you a little bit extra noise in there but as you can see we got her see what mode she's in CW so anyway if uh, you got the funds you know for 200 bucks you can pretty much buy this kit and assemble it yourself you can't beat the price for what it can do I mean it's it's awesome you know picks up CW does everything try to go up where the guys are yapping. Go ahead and put it in LSB. As you can see, he's complaining about heavy static right now because it's early in the morning, 5.45. You know, the sun's not really even up yet. Um, no, everything's really static. It'd probably be better, you know, during the day here. Anyway, I want to make sure a little video just to show you that the Henchman Labs is doing its thing. Henchman Labs Electronics is fun. Rather, are doing their thing. So they've actually made this kit really enjoyable now. It can be used with the SDR1 software as well. 
Okay, five and nine, got the five and Which I gotta download again. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go get the SDR1 software right now as we speak. Enjoy everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have the opportunity to buy this receiver, you should get it, it's awesome. They made a, a good little receiver even better.